Clearance Center 29, Clearance Center Control Desk, Space, Routine H9, H10, Clearance Limit 1 mile north of the airfield uh, VFR. Five helicopters look out for this. Four operating Vauxhall Bridge on the river at the moment. And Coming up. Fabulous views as I fly a helicopter over central London for the first time. Heli Centre 29 approaching the Isle of Dogs. Heli Centre 29, thank you. Cleared westbound H4, H3, clearance limit, Sunbury Lock. And I get permission to cross one of the world's busiest airports. Oh my god. Heli Centre 29, continue northbound and you're cleared to cross from the 09 left. Welcome to Rory On Air. We're on the final approach for the north side grass at Elstree Aerodrome. I've flown instructor James and I down from our base in Leicester to tick off an aviation bucket list item, flying the London heli lanes. This is one of the most challenging flights I've had so far in the helicopter. The airspace we're about to fly into over the capital is some of the busiest in the world. Located just a few miles north of the London control zone, Elstree is also busy with several fixed-wing aircraft in the circuit and a number of helicopters operating around the field. After a bit of hovering on the taxiway, always good to get some practice in, we're allocated a parking area and we're able to shut down for some fuel. This is the first time I've seen an Augusta 169 up close. The trusty Cabri gives you a good sense of scale. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload new videos and I've recently launched a new website which features a blog about this flight. Find that and much more at RoryOnAir.com Heli Centre 29 ready to lift and taxi. Heli Centre 29 if you can uh, lift hover taxi forward to the Alpha Hold. Lift and uh, hover taxi to the Alpha Hold Heli Centre 29. OK clear left. Yep. Clear to the right, clear in front, it's pretty tight, so we're going to lift straight up and we're going to shimmy to the right, nobody behind. Now clear my side. Bad clear. Yep. Clear behind. Curly set to 2-9, you can cross runway 08, the wind 0408 knots. Cross runway 08, heli centre 29. Helicopter Romeo Delta with the opposite direction G2 in sight. Cross runway 08, on to spot 5. 08 to spot 5, gone from his office. As we depart Elstree, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, but I had the reassuring presence of James next to me and the prospect of a very exciting experience ahead. Thames Radar, good afternoon. Heli Centre 29 requests zone entry and uh, transit of the heli lane. Heli Centre 29, Heathrow, stand by, call you back shortly. Heli Centre 29, Squawk Adem, call you level, QNH 1024, passing message. Squawk Adem, uh, level is uh, 2,100 feet. Heli Centre 29, Cabri G2, helicopter from L3 to L3, 2 POB, VFR. Intended routing is uh, North Old Gutteridge on H9, Gutteridge to Barn. Barnes to Isle of Dogs and then return via uh, Barnes, Sudbury Lock and uh, your overhead uh, request uh, zone entry, Heli 29. Heli 29, that's uh, understood and if you just continue to remain outside, North Holt, I've got the space, I'm just going to speak to them and come back to you shortly. Remain outside, Heli 29. To be honest, with the headwind you've got, you can probably just yeah. stick it into wind. Heli Centre 29, nice contact way. North Holt Radar 126 decimal 450, they've got your details. Contact North Holt Radar 126.450, Heli Centre 29. North Holt Radar, Heli Centre 29. Heli Centre 29, North Holt, approach identified, one up above 2,400 feet, London QNH 1024, basic service. London QNH 1024, not above altitude 2,400 feet, basic service, Heli Centre 29. Going to start heading towards it. Heli Centre 29, Clear Centre Control Desk, space, routine H9, H10, clearance limit one mile north of the Airfield uh, VFR. Clear to enter controlled airspace H9, H10, and uh, cleared to one mile north of the uh, airfield, Heli Centre 29. And then we sent uh, 29, that'll be VFR inside. VFR, Heli Centre 29. And send it operating, I'll see you.
Standard operating altitude, heli 729, so I need to be at 1,000 feet here. Just be careful you don't get too close to dead end of this way, so if you hug the, hug yeah. the woods. Heli 729, entering control, airspace, radar control, and we have uh, one uh, outbound VFR helicopter routing H10 uh, westbound. Entering controlled airspace and uh, keeping an eye out for the heli traffic, heli 729. So they're going to come and rush the way then? Yeah. Heli 729, the, uh, the cold traffic is now airborne from North Oak, currently one mile south of it, H10 westbound. That's uh, a good one on that. Looking for traffic, heli 729, we're about one mile north of the airfield now. Heli 729, Roger, your uh, clearance limit is cancelled. Clearance limit cancelled, heli 729. Heli Centre 29, uh, continue with Heathrow Radar 125 decimal 65 today. Heathrow Radar 125 decimal 65, thank you, Heli Centre 29. Heathrow Radar, Heli Centre 29. Heli Centre 29, Heathrow, uh, hello there, continue uh, H10, H4, standard altitude to the Isle of Dogs. Continue H10, H4, standard altitude to the Isle of Dogs, Heli Centre 29. That's Andy, all the way through. Excellent. Right, so 1200, and I've got to be bang on 1200 until we get to the 800 bit. Man of your calibre won't struggle with that. Railway line converges with the junction, that looks like the junction yeah, it's to pretty, me there. Pretty obvious, that, isn't it? Right, so Thank after that. Much. Heading right and I'm aiming for the park, which is there. Yeah. It's due south. Yeah. You do that, pick your way through the less built up bits, basically. Yeah. So all the time you go in, you want to be going right. Where am I going to go? There, that that one, there. Yeah. Just adjust your track to always give yourself options. Yeah. And they're okay. really fussy, by the way, so make sure you absolutely Seven pop on. Eight, two, nine. You are cleared to enter controlled airspace following the Lee Valley to the Isle of Dogs. That'll be not above 2,000 feet. VFR to then join H4, H10, standard operating altitudes, with a clearance limit of Perryvale. Okay, so I'm just going straight for motorway over the top onto the river. So then, about 2000, Kew Gardens. Oh yeah. Just keep that a little bit to the left really, because it's blocking my view of the altimeter. Thank you. Contract 174010, thank you, leave that link. That is easy now. Am I staying at 800? No, just back in the river via 1000. And over 4500. That's the bridge. Whisper 67, you on frequency. Whisper 67, Whisper 67, thank you, report turning at London Bridge. And your visual was a G2, just there, are you still? Report turning at London Bridge and visual with uh, Heli Centre uh, in front of me. Thank you. Do you visual with him? Can I pass the what's your current position? Hey, sir. Yeah. yeah, I'll keep your speed up a bit. Because it's off, I think, off 44, so we'll probably be going a bit quicker than us. 1,000 feet, staying at 1,000 feet until we get to. Uh, uh, at least standing now, heading 340 degrees, and the vendor altitude 4,000 feet. Listen, uh, 4,000 feet and lift dead clean 340 degrees, contract 1740. So, um, Please, two two, you there's the football stadium, this is where you break off to go, uh, up bar. Yeah, it's bar, yeah. So, that's there. Uh, yeah. Heli Centre 29, traffic information, you'll have uh, two opposite direction, Robinson 66 helicopters, they're following each other about half a mile between one another. Currently at the Isle of Dogs now, westbound 1,300. Looking for the traffic, Heli Centre 29. And Whisper 67 also copied, and I'll follow uh, Heli Centre on the south bank. Top Power Patrol, new clearance limit of Vauxhall Bridge. There's a Cadbury G2 and a Robinson 44 just overhead Battersea now eastbound. Vauxhall Bridge, so copy Charlie, Top Power Charlie. Ah, Tally. 11 o'clock, yeah, visual. I can only see one of them though. This is going to be interesting. Uh, 
uh, Whistler 6 7 and Vision with the two opposite direction, uh, Robinson 66. You still got them? Yeah, I've got both of them now. Yeah, good. Got the other one at 11 o'clock. Yeah, I've got him. November 95 Tango Alpha, thank you. It is the Reddit Control Service. Climb now to altitude 4,000 feet. Fly heading 090 degrees. Big whiz. 090 degrees, 4,000 feet. That's ridiculously close. November, Rainbow 2, Heathrow, uh, hello, and uh, QNH1024, five helicopters look out for this, four operating Vauxhall Bridge on the river at the moment, and one just departed off Battersea, runway 02, two, turning left yeah. now, westbound. I think it's 2,000 now, actually, we could go to. Yeah, yeah, it's by the Shard, basically, I remember. Yeah. remember. Can you see East City? Uh, uh, yeah, City runway. Yeah. Hell, yeah. SK-76 helicopter listing from Kensington Palace, routing southbound now. He throw out. November 8th. Royal flight, I think. Yeah. Traffic listing from Kensington Palace, as traffic overhead Battersea westbound. You can continue now, H-10, standard altitude, clearance limit, Perryvale. Clearance limit, Perryvale, and we are clear to continue and we'll a good look go on the Kensington helicopter, November 829. Golf Papa Charlie, same for you. Continue. This is H4 absolutely H10. mega. Clearance Good, glad you're doing it. Look out for the departing SK-76 just lifting from Kensington Palace. But here, hotel for a set visitation. Parallel, copy traffic, Papa Charlie. November 95, Tango Alpha report heading to London, 120 decimal 530. Heading to London, 120 530, 95 Tango Alpha. Yeah. Rainbow 2 Romeo, Squawker down for you, level QNH1024. There are two helicopters just leaving Vauxhall Bridge now, westbound along the river. If you route towards Epsom, that will keep you ahead and clear of them. Yeah, Rainbow 2 Romeo, fast ahead. Around this last bend, and then we turn on Isle of Dogs, which is at the bottom there. Thank you. Yes, we got people behind us. Whistle 67, thank you. The uh, two Robinson 66 are two miles west of you as well. Same route as you. You can continue now uh, H4, H10, clearance limit, Perryvale. Whistle 67, continue hotel for hotel 10 and clearance limit, Perryvale, and I'll uh, keep an eye out for the other two ever. Thank you. Golf Whiskey Oscar Fox on Mike. Squawk and M4 level QNH is 1024. Go three. Golf Whiskey Oscar Fox on Mike. Oh, Golf Fox on Mike. Squawk and M4 level QNH 1024. I did 1000 feet. 1024. Golf Fox on Mike. So he's not necessarily giving us that clearance back the other way yet, is no. he? No. So we probably just okay. want to preempt him a little bit. Yeah. As soon as I've made the corner. Heli Centre 29 approaching the Isle of Dogs. Heli Centre 29, thank you. Cleared westbound, H4, H3, clearance limit, Sunbury Lock. Cleared westbound, H4, H3, clearance limit, Sunbury Lock, Heli Centre 29. Golf Fox Rock, Mike, after stop, you can leave the zone towards the west. That'll be not above 1,200 feet VFR. 42 west, not above 1,200 feet VFR. Golf Fox Mike. Okay, can you see anyone over your shoulder if I turn left? Uh, negative, no, feel free. Hello, Rainbow 2, confirm you want us reading direct to Epsom. Rainbow 2, Romeo, uh, at your discretion now towards Epsom if you wish. Head navigation towards Epsom, uh, Rainbow 2, thank you. I get the impression everything makes way for the Royal Fights. Yeah. Right, we'll come back on the uh, north side of the river this time. Oh. 6 7, new clearance limit of Guthridge. Clearance limit of Guthridge for Whisper 6 so let's retrace our steps, we're cleared all the way, we go to Barnes, we take a left, and then follow that route. Heli 10 to 2 9, Heathrow landing runway 09 left, confirm you are familiar with Heathrow crossing procedure. Hey firm, Heli 10 to 2 9. Thank you.
Kelly Centre 2, 9 cleared, westbound Hotel uh, 4, Hotel 3, your clearance limit is Sunbury, and uh, Heathrow landing 09 left. Heathrow landing 09 left, cleared H4 and H3, and holding at Sunbury. Kelly Centre 2, 9. I spot new things every time, I've only just noticed some pulses there. there. <laughs> Stuff like that. I hope you're enjoying riding along with James and I in the Cabri G2 helicopter. I'm quite pleased with the views captured by the 360 camera, which I got permission to mount securely on the console. I'd love to know what you think, so do leave a comment. Cobb Papa Charlie, contact North at 126 decimal 2645 Hills, up Charlie. So that's Vauxhall Bridge there. Elsie Bridge the next one, so we'll start a descent down to 100. As we retraced our track back along the Thames, I was able to take a moment to enjoy the view. I spent 18 months living in London in 2010 2011 when I first joined the BBC as a studio manager. I used to go for walks along the river and was always envious whenever I saw a helicopter overhead. It does feel quite surreal that I'm now flying over London, enjoying that bird's eye view. I can see the money leaving those bank accounts, parks those helicopters there. <laughs> yeah, a couple of 109s of Battersea, that'll cost you a few quid. Yeah, well. Left control airspace to the West Cork 7000, radar service seven eight. nothing seen on radar to effect, free call for Arbor 125. The landing fee for us would have been about 600 quid. Have you looked it up? Yeah. Oh, I love this fold, it's the worst. All right. Still to come on this edition of Rory on Air, we leave the river and route along H3 and H9 towards Sunbury Lock and then on to Heathrow Airport. So there you go, you're going to enter the map there. Right, I'm just basically going over the park there. Yeah. Thanks, best I got from them is that you want the Isle of Dogs for Denham. Uh, how would you like to get They're all around, clear left. Uh, clear yeah, left. we'd like to do H4, 10, 9, please. Sugi, India, Lima, Charlie Roger, clear to enter the London City Control Zone VFR, not of altitude 2,000 feet to the island. There, Dogs. your next feature. I'm right looking for the park. Yeah, any particular bit of the park? Right hand side. The park is there. Park right. Yeah, it's just a new hop past the left. This is where it gets slightly more tricky, where you do have to have the next feature, next feature, next yeah, feature, okay. next feature. And I'm staying at 1,000, 1,000 all the way. Warning lights are all out, T-speed's green, 113 litres, fuel, radio tuner talking, river transponder set. Golf for me down to the other mic, you clear the trains at west of the Ascot Burnham track VFR, not of altitude 1,200 feet, QNH 1024. Yeah, I'd take that track across the park, I think. Please, two, five, two, that's what I am. Report changing. Yeah, you got that bit of woodland there in the yeah. in the park you want to try and aim for, wherever that is. And yeah, I think we're just first south of track of us slightly, I think it's just over there. Okay. That's the central water thing, isn't it? So, yeah. We've got that pond in the middle, and water. Yeah, the you hold the Council, cleared northbound, hold south of Bedfond. Cleared northbound, hold south at Bedfond, Halley Centre 29. Yeah, I think you're meant to be just over where those football pitches are, actually. Right. Not the end of the world. Still had options as well. This bit at night is just impossible. Yeah, but... It's just... <laughs> none of these little features. Can't see the water fountain. Yeah, so you're following the river and then you've got the race course. Yeah. Which is there, so that's going to be just after your turn. And the lock, you'll see it on the river, there's... Um, right. It's fairly obvious. Coffee with Charlie from the dock. Coffee with Charlie, would H9, 800 feet, so I've got to get down to 800 feet by the locks. Absolutely mental. It's almost like you're not allowed to do it, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's crazy. A couple of different we have all the seacuffs also looking. Yeah, keep following just left a little further. Yeah. That's the locks there. Yeah, you got the locks down there. They'll come down to 800 feet. And then it's basically a right turn, you're going to follow the clear areas. Yeah. On your, well, clear areas on your right, basically, as you go looking for the uh, the bridge on the junction. Yeah. And I will do your next bit of mapping.
Heli Centre 29, report visual with the field. Visual with the airfield, Heli Centre 29. Heli Centre 29, thank you. Remain south of Bedford. Further clearance will be done by this tower. Contact them now, 118.505. 118.505 to tower, remain south of Bedford. Heli Centre 29. Heathrow Tower, Heli Centre 29. Heli Centre 29, Heathrow Tower, good afternoon. Continue on H9 North, going to hold at Bedford. South of the airfield. Continue north on H9, hold at Bedford, Heli Centre 29. So, if you want to add a ground effect hover, that's a legitimate thing to do if you've been you know, tight on space or if you've the avoid curve. It's going to slow down. But yeah, you can be nice and slow into it, make the most of that time, I'd say. Continue 9F3 with 260. Continue 9F3 with 260. Yeah, we're 10 to 2-9 from Bedford, remaining south of 0-9 right at all times. Route due west and hold at Stanwell. Remain south at all times, route due west, hold at Stanwell, Heli Centre 29. Cool, so that Stanwell is yeah, on the one corner. Yeah. Kilo 277, line up on the 09 right. Time to wait for 09 right, Kilo 277. Tower Speedbird 5, ready for departure. Speedbird 5, roger, behind departing company 7. I don't mean this way around, Heath, it's quite a cool view. Kilo 09 right, fire November Bravo 8 behind. Expect a shot delayed for route separation on the runway. Speedbird 5, uh, Roger behind the 787 from the full length and line up and wait uh, 09 right from November 8 behind. That is amazing. I can't believe we're allowed to do this. Yeah, it's insane, isn't it? Speedbird 3, 3, Chaleco, thank you very much. Contact ground 121-705. Speedbird 5, anytime. Speedbird 3, 3, good afternoon, good day. Speedbird 277, traffic information, low level helicopter just south of the field, routing west, remaining south of 9 right at all times. Visual Speedbird 277. We have a 277 runway 09 right, clear for takeoff, surface 1030 degrees at 10 knots. Clear takeoff 09 right, speedbird 277. We have a 260 runway 09 left, clear to land, surface 050 degrees at 9 knots. Clear land on 09 left, speedbird 260. So that's the service road right on the end, so it's basically yeah. the corner of this bit of water here. Did you want to sort of yeah, be on the ball so you can just. Uh, two nine, cross extended centre line from the 09 right and hold west of terminal 5. Cross the extended centre line of runway 09 right, hold at the uh, terminal 5, Heli Centre 29. The visual terminal 5, yeah, yep. big building there, yeah. Make best speed. Well, there's nothing coming, it's. Still, it shows willing, doesn't it? <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> Well, they're all doing 250 yeah. knots. They're just starting to slow yourself down so you can hold here. Yeah. Oh my Heli god. Heli Centre 29, continue northbound and you are cleared to cross from the 09 left and then from Longford route eastbound to hold Simpson. Cleared to cross from the 09 left and route northbound and, uh, to, and then eastbound to Simpson, Heli Centre 29. So long towards that roundabout. Yeah, and then I'm just going along. Control, 118.825, bye bye. 118.825. Dips into the spare road. Yeah. So I'm just following that along then. Yeah. What a crazy thing. What a crazy thing. <laughs> So it's this road intersection yeah, here, isn't it? Yeah, it's this spur here, I think. Heli Centre 29 at Sipson, turn left onto H9 northbound, standard operating altitude, then clearance limit of Gutteridge. At Sipson, northbound on H9, at standard operating altitude, and uh, clearance limit is at Gutteridge, Heli Centre 29. Follow the road north to the junction. Contact Norfolk, 126.450, bye-bye. 126.450, Heli Centre 29. I went to uni there. Did you? Yeah. Did you have a good time? Uh, I had a nice time. Uh, I did engineering, so it wasn't the best time. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite heavy going. It was quite heavy going. More so than TV and radio production, which is what I did. Whiskey, Northolt Departures, identify Compton 5. You might have got to more parties than I did. Yeah, well, I hosted it. 1024 radar control, fraction 813, Whiskey, thank you. 
Ali Centre 29 clearance limits cancelled and continue Hotel 9 northbound. There is one uh, R66 routing Hotel 10 westbound uh, is currently approaching the airfield boundary. Clearance limit cancelled, continue northbound and uh, looking for the traffic. Ali Centre 29. Ali Centre 29, the traffic is right 2 o'clock, one and a half miles, crossing right left. Yeah, I've got it. Visual with the traffic, Ali Centre 29. Lost him again now. Yeah, yeah. We'll he's... Feet, so we okay. Okay. okay, fine. Yeah, he's going to pass under us or behind us. Right, so... Okay, so... A bit of water, keep yeah. on my right, basically. Go for where I'm going. And just watch the denim 80s, Ed, to keep nice close to the, to the, uh, wood, yeah. the woods there. And you're home and dry. And I can climb up now. Heli lane's complete. Alright, well done, Rory. Thank you. That was one heck of an experience. Yeah, it's quite amazing, isn't it? It is amazing, but there's so many things to do. Yeah. Well, this has been a thoroughly worthwhile and exciting experience for me as a student pilot, and I really hope you enjoyed the flight as well. Don't forget to subscribe and comment here on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Heli Centre 29, what type of service on Lever Control Desk, please? A traffic service, please, Heli Centre 29. Heli Centre 29, we'll chat. Might as well. They're all free, aren't they? Well, there's quite a lot going on, so... Especially around here, it's yeah, uh, such, exactly. a, such a busy part of the country. Because everything gets squeezed by the controlled airspace yeah. as well, so yeah. it's... Yeah, it's mad. Heli Centre 29, leaving controlled airspace, traffic service, confirm your altitude. Traffic service, leaving controlled airspace, uh, 2,000 feet on 1024, Heli Centre 29. Uh, Roger, and are you going straight to L Street? A firm, Heli Centre 29. Roger, own navigation, traffic uh, east northeast, three miles manoeuvring, indicating 1,200 feet. Looking for traffic and own navigation, Heli Centre 29, and traffic in sight, Heli Centre 29. Roger.